Hello and welcome to this session in which we would look at an exercise that deals with governmental transaction. Specifically, we're going to be looking at budgetary accounts as well as non-budgetary accounts. So this exercise, it's going to illustrate the concept of governmental budgeting and how the money is spent and how the money is collected through journal entries and subsidiary ledgers. Now, if you are an accounting student, you will be taking this course, governmental accounting. If you're a CPA candidate, you have to understand governmental accounting and not for profit. So what I suggest you do is take a look at my website, farhatlectures.com. I don't replace your CPA review course if you're a CPA candidate, but I can be a useful addition. I can add 10 to 15 points to your CPA exam score by explaining the material differently. Maybe better, maybe not better than your CPA review course, but at least differently. And help you to, uh, helping you to understand the material better could make your CPA review course more beneficial because the CPA review course gives you the condensed conversion of things. I can show you the theory behind it. Then you can learn the condensed portion to sit for the exam. Your risk is one month of subscription. If you want to try me, your potential gain is passing the exam. Many people used my system before and passed. You want to give it a chance? I would say that's a good idea. If not for anything, take a look at my website to find out how well or not well is your university doing on the CPA exam. I do have resources for other accounting and CPA section. Please connect with me on LinkedIn and on LinkedIn you can look at my recommendation to see how others used my system to pass the exam. Please like this recording, connect with me on Instagram and Facebook. So what we are looking here is transaction and event of the general fund of the city of Springfield. And what's going to happen, we're going to look at each item and we need to prepare the journal entry. So we're going to be preparing the journal entry. And we're also going to show how this is listed in the subsidiary ledger because it just it, it's better to see the subsidiary ledger just for things to make more sense. Then we're going to prepare a budgetary comparison schedule for the general fund and we'll do that at the end so what we're going to do we're going to go through the series of transactions and make sure you want to be you want to be 100 percent comfortable with these transaction first the first transaction estimated revenue legally budgeted so this is based on the budget uh, property taxes they estimate to collect five uh, five million six hundred forty one thousand sales tax uh, license and permit 1.5 million and miscellaneous revenue of half a million. So what do we have to do once the budget is adopted? Once the budget is legally adopted, we have to book estimated revenue. And what do we mean by estimated revenue? It's the revenue that we estimate to have. Well, guess what? When we add up all our revenue that we estimated equal to 1 million, 200, uh, sorry, 12 million, 471,000. So what we have to do is we have to debit a budgetary account called estimated revenue. And notice, this is a budgetary account. It's a revenue, but it's being estimated. So notice it's a debit. What we have to do, although I'm not going th through the closing entry in this example, I go in the, with the closing entries and other examples, you have to remove this account at the end for the same amount. Okay, so what we do is we debit estimated revenue for 12,471,000 and we credit a budgetary fund balance. Think of the budgetary fund balance as an equity account. Basically, we're bringing revenue, therefore it's it's going to be increasing our equity for the for the government. Think of it that way. Now, so we're done we so we adopted the budget and this is what we have to record and notice the subsidiary ledger, we have a debit for the estimated revenue ledger. Two, appropriation general government appropriation 5,285,000 cultural and recreation 4,210,000 health and welfare 1 million now the government just like as they as they estimated the revenue they have to also estimate or plan their expenses well appropriation means it's not an expense yet but this is what we plan to expense this is what we plan to spend our money for on our money on and to be more specific if they're going to be expenditure because government don't use expense expenses and accrual expenditure is modified accrual language so this is what they plan to spend the money on okay general government so here's what we have to do we have to have 
an appropriation, a budgetary fund balance. So simply put, you see this budgetary fund balance. Now, since we are accounting for our future expenditure, we have to reduce budgetary fund balance and increase an appropriation control. Okay, so this is what we expect to spend, to spend, and we have an appropriation ledger of ten million nine hundred and fifty. So notice, right from the get go, we estimate our expenditure to be twelve million four hundred and seventy one. Our appropriation ten million four hundred ninety five. It looks good. It means we have excess revenue of expenditure. This is the estimate. Again, why is this estimate? Because this is all based on budget. And budget, we estimate. So this is what we are planning to do. Those are budgetary accounts. Three, revenue received in cash. Now we're, we're starting to receive this revenue. Property taxes, sales tax, license and permit, and miscellaneous. Now we are actually, the government is actually collecting their money. So remember, they planned this money here. They planned this revenue, and now they're actually collecting it. Are they going to collect everything that they planned for? Not necessary. Sometimes they may collect a little bit more. Sometimes they collect a little bit less. Sometimes much more or much less. It doesn't matter, but it doesn't have to be the same. So I just want to show you now they are collecting their money. What do we do when we collect their money? We debit cash and we credit actual revenue. So let's do that. We're going to debit cash and credit actual revenue. And the actual revenue, if we add up all these revenue, maybe you cannot see it here, it's 12745000 And this is actual 12 million 12 million 745 and notice what did we estimate so this is the revenue when we when we estimated revenue we thought it's going to be 12 million 471 is this good or bad that's good we we collected revenue more than what we expected to collect what was the estimated that's really good we want that we want that it's better the it's better than the other, uh, than the opposite, okay? Then we could not collect as much as we estimated. So this is the revenue. Transaction four, encumbrances, well, it's on the second slide. Encumbrances issued, including, include salaries and other operate, other reoccurring expenses. Now we are starting to, uh, encumbrances, well, en encumbrances, we did not do them yet. What are encumbrances? the expected expenditure simply put what we do is once we make a commitment to buy something well we have to kind of set aside that amount so now we, encumbrances issued it means we issued encumbrances uh, we did not spend the money yet general government five million two hundred and seventy five cultural and recreation and health services once again we did not spend any money but we said okay now we organized it we we now we know where we're going to spend it and we this you know and we allocate that money simply put like it, it's a sort of an allocation like okay now we know what we're spending the money let's encumbrance it let's put it aside okay so when we when we encumbrance okay when we say we're going to spend this money we have to set it aside so the, we have the encumbrance ledger this is the encumbrance ledger and general government cultural and recreation health and welfare now let me compare this to what we're saying here remember for the general government we plan to spend five million two hundred and eighty five now we put aside five million two hundred and seventy five so we are not so what we planned we haven't spent we haven't even decided to spend all of it yet notice because we still under 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 the amount that we initially thought we are going to spend for cultural and recreation, we only appropriated, we thought we were going to spend 4210 When it comes down to starting to allocate the money, we are allocating more, $4,630,000. I just want, I wanted to show you what's going on here. And for health and welfare, we, we, we allocated less. So we encumbered that much. Now, if we look at transaction five, we paid for goods and services in cash. Now, transaction five, we paid for them in cash. So here's what's going to happen. They told us, remember, we thought first for general government, we appropriated five million two hundred and eighty five. We thought we we're going to spend this much. We only encumbered five million two hundred and seventy five when the bill came, when the actual bill came. Actually, it came at five million two hundred and eighty five. I, I don't know what happened. We thought we we're going to save ten thousand dollar when the bill actually came actually we had to pay that additional ten thousand dollar okay so the actual so what do we have to do when the bill when the bill comes for those encumbrances when we encumbered those amount notice it's estimated encumbrance notice encumbrance it says estimated 
Okay. Well, what we have to do first is we have to reverse this entry. So before we pay the cash, look, we have to reverse this entry 100%. So notice what we did here. We debited encumbrances. Once we received the bill, we credit encumbrance for the same amount. We credited budgetary fund balance. We debit budgetary fund balance for the same amount. Simply put, this entry has to be gone. Okay, because this was just an estimate. We estimated it's going to be 10810000 broken down for government, cultural, and health. Well, once we paid the money, the first thing we have to reverse this entry, and what we actually paid is ten million seven hundred and eighty five. Ten million seven hundred and eighty five. Although we spent a little bit more although we spent a little bit more on governmental expenditure, we spent less on cultural and recreation. We thought we we're gonna spend four million uh, six hundred and thirty, we saved twenty thousand. And the same thing for health and welfare, we thought we we're gonna spend nine nine oh five. The actual bill was eight ninety. So now we debit expenditure not expenses because we're dealing with governmental accounting and we actually credit cash and we debit the those expenditure account governmental expenditure cultural and recreation and health and welfare now transaction six you know the government decided to do a budget revision and they increased appropriation for the gen for the general government somehow they thought oh we're going to need more money um, we, we're going to have more expenditure, therefore we're going to increase our appropriation, and that's normal. Sometimes they increase their appropriation, sometimes they reduce it, sometimes they increase their estimated revenue, sometimes they reduce it, depending on what's going on. But here they, they, it seems they need more expenditure, and they're going to increase their expenditure for cultural and recreation. Okay, that's fine. So here's what we do. We debit budgetary fund balance, 250 and we credit appropriation control, 250 Simply put, let, let me show you... What, where we did this entry okay if you remember here we debited budgetary fund balance credit appropriation simply put we decided to increase our appropriation we decided to spend more money for uh, on uh, cultural and recreation and increase government expenditure and this is what happened and we have now credit the subsidiary for the appropriation ledger and this is those are the entries so the fund balance on january first was 735 this is at the beginning of the year there were no outstanding encumbrances at that date prepare the transaction we did that prepare the budgetary comparison okay now now what we're going to do we're going to i'm going to show you at what happened at the end of the day for revenues first this was the original amount the original budgeted amount 500 5 million 641 the final budget was 5 million 641 because we did not do any revision and we collected in property taxes 5 million 545 we collected ninety six thousand dollar less sales tax we budgeted four million eight hundred thirty we did not do we did not do any revision the actual collection was less we collected one hundred and thirty thousand dollar less licenses and permit we estimated or the original amount was 1.5 million we did not do any revision the actual amount was 1.7 that's a good variance and you can look at miscellaneous let's look at expenditure the general government original budget was five million two hundred and eighty five then the final budget was five million four hundred and twenty five remember in the last entry we increased our appropriation for governmental uh, for general government expenditure that's why the final budget was higher the actual amount that we spent was five million two hundred and eighty five which good this is a good uh, this is a good variance why it's a good variance because we spend less money than what we appropriated okay for cultural and recreation the original amount was four million two hundred and ten the final budget for uh for cultural and recreation remember we also incre increase this to four million three hundred and twenty and we actually spend four million six hundred and ten so this is a negative or unfavorable variance we spent two hundred and ninety thousand more even after the final budget so we really blew it here in a sense that we did not know how much it's, we were going to spend on cultural and recreation health and welfare originally we started with 1 million we did not revise the budget the actual amount that we spent is 890 which is good we have 110,000 less in expenditure for health and welfare now this is the total uh, expenditure and this is the difference the excess or deficiency of revenue over expenditure 
the original amount was 1,976. Again, the difference here, the difference between revenues and expenditure and expenditure. Initially, it was 1,976 when we started the budget. After we revised the budget, it went down to 1,726. The actual amount under the actual column, we had uh, 1,960. We are still better off. And uh, the variance is a positive variance of 234,000. Do you remember they're given us in the problem that the fund balance at the beginning was 753? Okay, so that's good. So we, we had 1,960,000 this year. Revenues more than expenditure. The fund balance was 753. The ending fund balance is 2,713,000. Okay, so this is basically, if you can follow this exercise, then you should have a good understanding of the basic. This is only basic budgeting. You know, I, th there are other transaction that deals with governmental accounting. I did not go over. The reason I like this I re the reason I wanted to work this exercise is just to show you the journal entries and, and the subsidiary ledger. But remember, there are more to this, much, much more, like closing entries. There are other transactions that we did not go over. So please, if you want more additional information, go to farhatlectures.com, whether you are a governmental accounting student or a CPA candidate, especially if you are a CPA candidate. I can help you tremendously learn governmental accounting cpa review courses do not i repeat do not give enough explanation for governmental accounting they really they really give you the shortcut and the reason is because they assume you learn it in college oftentimes you did not learn it because you did not take the course or if you took the course it was your senior year you did not really pay attention you have you already had a job offer or if you took the course the school did not do a good job teaching you the material but I can help you. Good luck, study hard, and stay safe.